Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Anna Jeline and I'm the author of the Glory MC series as well as the Minerise Beach series. Today's video is a memory spread video. So I'm gonna be planning at the week of March 8th to the 14th in my A5 wide planner. So if you saw last week's plan with me, then you know that I moved into my Lilac Daydream or Estelle planner. So I actually bought the Rose Quartz and the Lilac Daydream at the same time, but I've been using this one as a work planner for the last six months. But since I wanted a little bit of a change, I have switched out my memory planner and my work planner just to be a little bit different. So I am gonna be planning March now, and typically in March, I do try to use a little bit more green. I am not a green type of person though, so I chose kits that have a little bit of a whimsical theme to it. They have a little bit of green, but it's not like your kind of like St. Patrick's um, Day type of green. Um, so I have this kit from Paper Crown Planner that I thought that I would use. It has some green elements in it, but it's a little bit more darker. Um, it has a bit of a mystical vibe to it with the woodland creatures and all the kind of fireflies. I think it's very beautiful. So you do get a ton of boxes. Um, I have used some of this kit already in my A5 planner, which is my work planner. I do tend to use the same kits in there, but I really love this bottom washi. Look how beautiful that is. So um, I am gonna be pulling in some florals in this spread, which is one of my favorite things because I love florals. So yeah, ton of color, ton of um, darker tones and that really nice whimsical deco. So I'm really excited about this and I can't wait to get started. The washi that I'm gonna be using is all from the Pink Room Co. These are all from uh, various collections. I think this one is from the Hush collection, so it's like one of her new ones. This one is quite old though, but I thought it would look really good. It has a little bit of that green in there, which again, I don't have much green washi, so I thought it would be nice to pull in that. And then I do have these extra functional sheets from Aribea that I might pull in as well. So I have the scallops here, and then I also have some boxes, which I might use. Um, and then I do have my sticker book handy as well. So let's get into the planning. The inserts that I'm using are from my shop. These are the vertical weeklies from my shop, Anageline Printables. And if you guys are interested in these inserts, you guys can use the code SAVE10 to save 10% off of your order. But I really like these. They do have the little um, pink scallop down the spine, which I think matches the cloud planner really well. So first off, I am going to grab my washi here. I love this washi. I think it's so beautiful. And I really like this kind of darker green color combined with this really pretty corally pink. I think it's a different type of, um, it's not a color combination that I see often, but I really, really like it. So I'm really glad that this kit kind of brings some of that in. I am going to be using the date covers as well because I do want to use more green in the month of March. I do have another kit that I'm planning on using next week that's, um, it has a little bit of brown in it and more neutral tones in addition to the green. So like I said, I'm not a huge green person, but I do try to be a little bit, you know, um, festive, I guess you can say, with my spreads and try to make them match the month a little bit. So for me, January is always blue. I just associate that with winter, so. I tend to use that a lot in January. And then obviously February has a lot of pinks in it because of Valentine's Day. And then for me, March is all about green. So the nice thing about this one is that the date numbers are actually in that pink color, which I think is really nice. And it definitely makes the dates stand out a little bit more. So I like that she changed it up for this kit. So we are planning for the week of March 8th to 
the 14th. Um, this week I was busy, but um, in terms of like the number of different activities I had, it's not a lot because actually I worked on one of my books. So I worked on the second draft of the book and so um, usually when I write, that's all I do for the whole entire week. I feel like this plan with me is going to be a little bit more bare just because I wrote every single day this week to make sure that I finished that book. Okay, so now that I have the day covers down and the bottom washi, I do want to go in with my washi here and I'm gonna add this one because I think it matches really, really well with the colors of the kit. So once again, this is from the Pink Room Co. It's from an older collection that she had, maybe like last year or like even the year before that. I'm not exactly sure. I'm gonna also add it to my weekend here so I can add my weekend banner. Now last week I nearly forgot to add my weekend banner, so today I'm not gonna forget. So where is my weekend banner? Here we go. I like that hers are kind of kiss cut in this way. Sometimes people do like blocks or scallops. I do like this one. I think it's kind of cute. So that is what we have so far. So I do want to put down my full boxes and as you can see she gives you a ton of different options in the different skin tones as well as the hair colors. So I am going to kind of scatter these around. Um, I think I'm going to use the blonde girl this week just for a little bit of a change. I am going to put her on Sunday and then I'm actually going to put the dark haired girl here on, should I put her on the sidebar on the Monday? Okay, let's put her on the sidebar, why not? Just like that. So all of the full boxes in this kit are quite dark, so um, I do want to kind of separate them a little bit so that we do have a distribution of color. So that like, for example, this one has some brown in it. So I want to make sure that I have brown on this side of the page as well. And I've been doing this for the last couple of weeks, but I've been kind of staggering them up this way, and I kind of like how that looks. So I'm going to be doing that again for this week. I just like how it looks visually, so let's use this one. So I do have a little bit left, so I will save that. So now that we have that down, let's move in to the sidebar. So for the sidebar here, I am going to grab a couple of these checklists to mark my focus for the week as well as the books that I read this week. I'm going to grab a little bit of washi though because I do want to break it up a little bit and add a little bit of that gold foil throughout the spread. Now I think for this spread you can definitely go with silver as well or even rose gold, but um, I am going with gold this time because I have been going with hollow and silver for the last couple of spreads that I did. So we're just going to go with something a little bit different this week. So I am just going to stack these I think. There is going to be a little bit of awkward space, maybe. No, that's fine. So just like that. And I am going to write down the main focus of the week. So like I said, I wrote this whole entire week. So I worked on the second draft of a new book that I was working on the previous month. I definitely feel like it's in a good place now. Whereas before I was a little bit um, still worried about it. Now that I went through it again and fixed those problems, I feel like it's in much better condition. 
Um, okay, so the other thing was I worked on some promotions for another author. So she is a New York Times bestselling and USA bestselling author. And she asked me to help her with some of the promotions with her upcoming books. So her book's coming out in May. So um, I did some promotion work for her. And I also want to uh, make sure that I filmed this memory spread. So that is what I'm doing right now. Um, the books that I read this week, they were pretty good ones. So I read an advanced reader copy of Lover Unveiled. And this is by J.R. Ward. And J.R. Ward is actually one of my favorite authors. And this is one of the most anticipated books for me this month. So um, the fact that I got an early copy, which is quite rare, she doesn't normally give out um, a lot of copies of this book. So I was one of the lucky ones to get it. And so I was really, really excited about it. So I read it right away and I loved it. So um, if you follow my blog, you will see that review very soon. And then the other book that I read is To Sir With Love by Lauren Lane. So this is a contemporary romance and um, I also really enjoyed it. Not as much as Jared Ward. Jared Ward is definitely my all time favorite. If you are not familiar with this series, it's called the Black Tiger Brotherhood series and it's a paranormal romance series. One of my all time favorites. So um, if you guys are interested in like books and you know like book recommendations let me know because I can definitely share them a little bit more in detail because I do read a lot and I have been a book reviewer for 10 years so I do have quite a lot of um I guess you can say knowledge about the different books so first up I do have these little scallop boxes or I guess half boxes and I'm gonna actually put them at the top Maybe I'll alternate the colors actually, but I am going to alternate the colors because um, I did, like I said, write every single day this week. And so I want to mark that in like a similar way every single day. So I'm just going to alternate the pink and the greens from the sheets that I have to mark that I wrote every single day this week to finish off that book. And then uh, let's actually go into a Monday now. On Monday I wrote and then I also um, uploaded my March monthly plan with me. So uh, let's grab this sticker here. It's kind of like a brownie green color. I'm gonna mark that at the bottom that I uploaded my March monthly plan with me. And I love that kit that I used in it. It's also from Paper Crown Planner. You guys should check it out if you haven't already because it turned out really, really nice in my opinion. Um, and the other thing that I did was I actually subscribed to the Simply Gilded box. So um, if you don't know Simply Gilded, um, she makes washi tape. So similar to this, um, this one's a Canadian shop. Um, the Pink Grim Co. I really like her washi, but Simply Gilded is basically the American equivalent of Pink Grim Co. So I did subscribe to her monthly subscription box, so I want to write that down. She did sneak peeks of this kit called Paris in Spring, and I absolutely love it. It's so, so beautiful that, like, as soon as I saw it, I subscribed right away because it's so nice. So I am going to go into this sticker book here that I have and I do have this sticker. I think this is from like a little sampler because I don't think I bought that anywhere. But I'm just going to put that there to represent that I subscribe to that. And then just to add a little bit more, I do have this little washi kind of strip thing and that is from Papershire. So I want to kind of like really emphasize that because I'm super excited about this box. Okay, I'm gonna grab this little quarter box next. And I am gonna mark that I read this day. So I'm gonna go into my reading section over here. Reading is over here. And we're gonna pick one of these guys. Ooh, let's go with this girl. So this girl is from The Whimsical Cat. And she has a flower crown, which matches perfectly with this girl. So 
we are going to write that down. And then I did paint my nails this day, so I am going to mark that down as well. So I'm going to put this little sticker that came with the kit. So now let's move on to the Tuesday. So on Tuesday, once again, I wrote and then um, I actually got the advanced reader copy of Lover Unveiled on this day. So I am going to put that down. And this one's really beautiful. I love the background of it. So I'm going to write Received Lover Unveiled. I was super excited to get this book because like I said, it's one of my favorite authors and favorite series. And then of course, right away I read it. So I'm gonna put that sticker down. And this sticker is from 15 Prill. So in the evening, I did just have a nice relaxing evening. So I am going to go into here. This is my kind of self-care sticker section and so I'm gonna grab this girl let's go with a big one and I'm gonna mark that I did a face mask so I'm gonna grab this pink box here that is super crooked what am I doing let's readjust that now a lot of you guys ask me what paper I use I use the um, online labels stickers so I will link that down below. So I did face mask and then I did have some me time. So I do have this little script sticker here and I'm gonna grab this dark color here and I'm just gonna put that towards the bottom and then put the me time on top just like that because I feel like if you wrote on that you wouldn't be able to see it that much I am going to bring some of this washi in. So once again, this is some washi from Pink Room Co. It's from the Hush collection. So it's I think it's still up in her shop. You can probably still get it. So I am just going to put that down underneath there just to bring some of that washi in. Let's move on to Wednesday. So once again, I did write for most of the day. Um, I did get my Rose Colored Days order in. So let's mark that. I'm gonna grab this dark green. Let's see, which one do I wanna use? I feel like I've been going through these stickers pretty quickly. I may need to order some more. This little girl is from Paper Echoes. Let's add some more washi to the spread. So this one has a really beautiful kind of floral design to it. So I definitely want to add some of that. And then on Wednesday, I actually made another order at Simply Gilded. And then we'll use this guy, the little washi. I think that's very appropriate. So I did order from Simply Gilded. I ordered another box and then like a pouch. It was really, really cute. I do have more things in my cart that I kind of want to pick up, but I'm trying to hold off. I don't want to go too crazy. So let's go back into my planning section and I grab a sticker to represent that order. Let's use this. This is Sushi the Cat and that is from Paper Echoes again. And then I'm going to put this little box down to write the show that I binged. So I'm gonna grab this little TV sticker from Paper Shire and then write the show that I watched. So that is how that is looking like. Now before I move on to the second half, I do want to decorate this a little bit with some of the deco because I do find it a little bit too plain for me. So I'm gonna grab the florals, of course, and just add them here and there to the spread. But I am really liking how that is looking so far. So now let's move on to the second page. Once again, I am gonna decorate this section with a little bit of the kind of florals and like ferns, I guess you can say. So on Thursday, I did writing again. I did um, received another 
Happy Mail from Rose Colored Days. So this was my order from her anniversary sale. So that came in. I ordered some A5 wide dividers. So I'm really happy about that. So I'm going to mark that down with a half box with a paper Echoes sticker. Um, I did upload my Pocket Cloud setup. So let me mark that down with this pink sticker at the very bottom here. You guys have seemed to really, really love that setup. So I'm super happy that you love it. Um, I also did send out an email to the bloggers for that author. And so I am going to mark that down with one of these washi stickers. It's washi box stickers, I guess you can call it. And I'm going to mark that in with a work sticker. So let me see. I'm going to go with this one, and that is from Paper Crown Planner, so where I also got this kit. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit of washi once again. If you're wondering what this is, this is just a washi card from Rose Color Days. I'm using it to cut my washi. Okay, so on Friday. Friday was a huge day for me because I actually finished writing the book this day. So I was so, so happy on this day because this book has been like super hard for me to write. And so the fact that I actually got it all finished now makes me super happy. So I am going to mark that down. And before I forget, I do want to add that washi beneath here. So to mark that down, I use this Scylla character. She is from Lovely Mine. Um, I did post my what's in my bag video and you guys again seem to really like that one. So I'm going to mark that down. Um, I did film a memory spread. And I also filmed my Rose Colored Days haul. So there we go. On Saturday, um, actually Simply Gilded had a pre-sale so it actually started on Friday but I did go ahead and order on the Saturday so with the pre-sale you're able to pre-order your washi for a whole week and there's like no limit to it so um, I ordered on this day. Um, on this day I did um, actually get a new bookshelf so I do want to mark that down so my dad gifted me this bookshelf um, so obviously he knows that I'm an author and in my house already I actually have quite a few bookshelves I have like a whole wall of bookshelves and they're already full and so he actually gifted me another one um, which is really really nice so I do want to mark that down that I got a new bookshelf now let's see if I have a bookshelf sticker. I have this, which is kind of like, more of like a table, but I don't think I have any bookshelf like stickers. So this is just going to have to act as my bookshelf for now. And what's funny is that I don't actually have books on it right now. I have all my planners and seeing my planners all filled up on one bookshelf is kind of scary to me. Like, I didn't realize I had that many planners, but, I mean, I don't know. It kind of freaked me out when I saw it. And then at the end of the day, I did work for that author, um, helping her with some promo. So I am going to mark that down. Let's see. Do I have any cute work stickers? Let's use this little panda. This is from... Stationery Heaven, I think. I'm not exactly sure. But let's add a little bit of washi in between there. And that is it for Saturday. So on Sunday, the first thing that I want to mark is that um, it was actually one of my book's anniversary, so Origins Anniversary, which is crazy to think because that book is one of my favorites. Can't believe it's been that long. And then we also had daylight savings. So I want to mark that down. And then lastly, 
I did do some cleaning, so I am going to mark that. And let's go into my cleaning section here to see if I have any that I want to use. We're going to use this little sticker, and that is from Stick With Me Shop. So there we go. I think that's really cute. So this is what the completed spread looks like. I am going to add a little bit of the deco that is left from the kit here. So I do want to use some of these larger items, so I save those to kind of add here and there. Those little foxes are super adorable. And I think that is it. Now I haven't decided if I want to put overlays on here. I think it will look um, too busy with the overlays. So I think this is where I'm going to end it today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, if you guys are interested in any of these inserts that I use in my Plan With Me's, then you guys can use the code SAVE10 to save 10% off of your order. Um, I will leave the link to my Plan With Me playlist at the end of this video so you guys can watch them if you haven't already. Maybe we can plan together when you are working on your spreads. So. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys will like, comment, and subscribe before you leave. Thank you guys. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!